Hello friends, welcome back to the video of Back in Time. About four days ago, news came out that a submarine expedition had gone to see the wreckage of the Titanic in the depths of the sea. It has now disappeared. There were five people on board, including two Pakistanis. Many people have messaged me asking to post a video about it, so in this video I will tell you the whole story. Friends, another extremely tragic incident occurred a few days ago when a ship sank in Greece, in which several hundred Pakistanis were also on board. These people were attempting to go to Europe, which is commonly referred to as Dunkirk. Anyway, let's talk about the recent incident of that submarine that has gone missing in the sea. Friends, today marks the 111th anniversary of the world's largest maritime vessel at that time, which the Titanic sank in the sea at around 2.30 a.m. At that time, the Titanic was located in the Atlantic Ocean near Canada. The Titanic collided with an iceberg, broke into two parts, and went into the depths of the sea. It sank to a considerable depth. Friends, today the Titanic is located at a depth of around 12,600 feet in the sea. When the Titanic sank, significant efforts were made at that time to locate it. However, reaching such depths was almost impossible during that era. But then, but then, after 72 years, in 1985, the wreckage of the Titanic was discovered. Its wreckage was found in two separate sections, as it had broken apart. After that, there were many expectations regarding the Titanic. Several items were also recovered, to the extent that various campaigns were launched, collecting funds from people to take them on expeditions. And this incident is somewhat similar. The name of this company is Asian Gate Expressions. They charge a whopping $250,000 to take a person to the Titanic, which is approximately 7 crore rupees, to reach the wreckage of the Titanic and then return back. It takes around 8 hours in this expedition. This is the expectation regarding accessing the wreckage of the Titanic. Every detail is explained in depth, friends. The marine vehicle used to reach the Titanic is called a Triton. This machine is commonly referred to as a submersible. It is very small and cramped, as it can accommodate only five people. Now, this submarine that went missing went underwater on Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. However, its communication with the security team was cut off two hours later around 10 o'clock. When this submarine did not resurface, the contact was lost. So teams were sent to the Atlantic Ocean to search for it. Now the issue here is oxygen. By the time you watch this video, the oxygen in that submarine would be running out. Friends, search teams were hearing voices from the sea. It's like someone forcefully hitting something repeatedly, but nobody knows what those voices are. And so far, they have been unable to locate the submarine. Searching in the depths of the sea is quite challenging, especially in the darkness of the ocean depths. And friends, who were those five individuals who were on board that submarine, including two Pakistanis? Among them was the chief operating officer, COO, of the company called Asian Gate Expeditions. In addition to that, there was a French explorer. The third individual was a British businessman, and the remaining two people were Prince Daud and his 19-year-old son, Suleiman Daud. Friends, Prince Daud is among the most influential people in Pakistan. They are the vice chairman of the Ingro Corporation. They are part of the Dawood Group, and their 19-year-old son, Suleiman, was also included in this journey. Nevertheless, friends, what lies ahead, only Allah knows. However, we can hope that these individuals will be recovered. Friends, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next amazing video. Goodbye.